Greetings, Oregon Law Class of 2020. In this video, some faculty, staff, and alumni are offering to you their personal words and well wishes. Although we can't gather together this spring, we didn't want this occasion to pass by without saying congratulations and celebrating your tremendous achievements. To paraphrase Martin Luther King Jr., the ultimate measure of an individual is not where they stand in times of comfort or convenience, but rather where they stand in times of challenge and controversy. I am confident that each and every one of you has what it takes to stand up today and to greet the many challenges and opportunities that await you. And I want you to remember that when you do stand up, you never stand alone. You are and will always be an important part of the Oregon law community. So today, I offer to you a standing ovation. We are so happy and so proud of you. So today I say congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations to each of you. I'm Jody Mooney, Oregon Court of Appeals, U of O Law graduate, 1988. Today, you each receive your JD, your key to the world. With it, you have the opportunity to do well and to do good. I hope that you'll do both, and good luck. Congratulations on graduating from law school, everybody. Um, I know you've all worked so hard, and you should all be so, so proud. And like most of us, I'm super sad we can't celebrate you in person. But also just remember that not even a pandemic can stop the strength of the Oregon law community. And just know that we'll all be celebrating you from wherever we are. So just congratulations again, and go Ducks. Congratulations, class of 2020. I want to take this opportunity to quote Emerson. The reward for a thing well done is having done it. You've done it. Congratulations. And may justice be your final destination. Cheers. You know, you really should be tackling that to-do list. You're the one that made that to-do list. Who cares? You should just sit around and eat some candy. Yeah. Since you're stuck in the house, might as well be a productive, contributing member. Watch Netflix. Congratulations, I miss you, and good luck on the bar exam. Congratulations, class of 2020. It has been a real privilege to get to know you. You have inspired me, you have made me laugh, and some of you, and I think you know who you are, very nearly made me cry. In truth, this has been one of my very favorite groups to teach. And in truth of your truth, I say that every year. So good luck, keep in touch, congratulations, and I'll be cheering for you. Like me, clean shaven, wearing a flannel shirt, with my daughter riding an ostrich, this may not be how you originally pictured it. Nevertheless, it's time to celebrate your immense accomplishments. So congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. It's Felipe Alonso from the Career Center wishing you the best of luck in your future endeavors. I thought long and hard about how to put in perspective just how far you've come in three years, and I thought, what better way than introduce you to the newest admittee to the class of 2023 at the University of Oregon School of Law. Elena. Congratulations, class of 2020. August 2017 seems like an entire lifetime ago. Remember that month I sent that first email to you telling you that law school would be a great learning experience you would make friendships that would last a lifetime, and that you would learn what a bright and capable person you are. I hope all of those things have come true for each of you, and to each of you, I say congratulations. You should be proud, and I am proud of you, class of 20. Go Ducks. As one of the law school's more infamous graduates, it is a pleasure to be able to congratulate today the class of 2020. Now I heard your graduation is virtual. Are you kidding me? All the sweat and equity you've put in is not virtual, it is actual. 
All those nights, all those weekends, your hard work has really paid off. There are a lot of big challenges in the days ahead. But one thing I know is ducks always step up. Congratulations, graduates. Hi, class of 2020. If you've ever been to my office, you may have seen a sign that says, find what you love, love what you find. This is the advice I give to you. First, find what you love. Seek out the people and the places and the projects that make your heart sing. Do not settle for what you don't want. Second, love what you find. Life can take some very unexpected turns. Learn to appreciate and see the beauty in the direction your life goes. I wish you the very best as you enter into this next part of your life. Good luck and don't be a stranger. Class of 2020, you did it. Three years ago, this was a hope or a plan or a dream and now you've done it. You've got your JD degree and we are sending you virtual high fives and handshakes and hugs. Wish we could celebrate in person. We are gonna miss you around the building, but I'm so glad you get to be part of the Ducks family forever. So congratulations, class of 2020, and go Ducks. Congratulations to the class of 20. We are so excited to see you begin your respective careers and to see the great things that you will accomplish. Please do stay in touch with us at the UL Law School. We would love to hear how things are going. And finally, best of luck to all of you who have bar prep in front of you as well. Hi everybody, congratulations for finally graduating from law school and for finally getting rid of us. Good luck with all your future pursuits, both personal and professional, and uh, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Congratulations, class of 2020. I so wish we were able to celebrate you in person, but I'm wishing you the best of luck on the bar exam, and I can't wait to see what you do with these law degrees. Congratulations, Oregon Law Class of 2020. I am thrilled to welcome you to the alumni community of the University of Oregon School of Law. You are joining over 9,100 other U of O law grads and over 231,000 University of Oregon graduates from across the country and the world. Know that we are so proud of you. And this really is just the beginning. You are going to accomplish so much with your degree and we are so excited for you. Please stay in touch. Let us know what you're doing. Stay in touch with faculty. Please come back and visit. We love to see you and we love to hear how you're doing. We know that you are going to shine so brightly in the years ahead. Congratulations. Go Law Ducks. Greetings graduates. I'm Congresswoman Suzanne Bonamici. When I graduated from the University of Oregon Law School years ago, I had no idea that someday I would be a member of Congress. But sometimes life takes us on an unexpected path you weren't expecting to be graduating during a global pandemic. But I know with the knowledge you've gained and the friendships you've made, you will do well regardless of what path you take. And while you're doing well, remember to do good. Help each other and your communities. Congratulations, everyone. The class of 2020, not soon forgotten. I'm so proud of you, you did it. Your future is full of possibilities and we know you're gonna do well. So work hard, good luck, stretch, lean in. We'll always be here cheering you on. Go Ducks. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so happy that you're joining the legal profession right now. We need your skills and compassion. I feel hope knowing that you're graduating. All the best. Congratulations to you law grads. I'm John Van Lanningham. 43 years ago this month, I graduated from University of Oregon School of Law. It's had an amazing positive influence on my career. That's where I was introduced to legislative advocacy and landlord tenant rights. And I made some wonderful friends that are still in my life, such as Hi, I'm Martha Walters. I'm the Chief Justice of the Oregon Supreme Court and I too congratulate you on this fabulous achievement. Go, Go ducks. ducks! I am so excited, so pumped, so jazzed. Did you all ever know that you're my hero? You're everything, everything I wish I could be. I could fly higher than an eagle with you all as the wind beneath my wings. Congratulations, y'all. I'm so pumped. I even arranged those flowers back there 
for you all. I wanted that to be in the shot. I even spun that disco ball back there so that you all know that you need to party like it's COVID-99 or just any other way you can think of. Congratulations. Hi there, class of 2020. I'm so sorry that we can't be together to celebrate in person, but since we can't, I wanted you to have a little message for me um, to tell you how proud I am of everything that you've accomplished, all the resilience you've shown in the face of such a challenging time, and really how excited I am to see your work in the world. So soon, hopefully we'll be able to be together um, and to celebrate at that time, but in the meantime, congratulations. The world is facing some monumental challenges right now. We need the rule of law, we need justice, we need equity, and we need some human decency too. Class of 2020, you are giving me hope. Congratulations, law grad. Now get out there and change the world. Hey, Oregon law grads, we are so proud of you. You have learned so much and have come so far in the last three years. Of course, today is just the beginning and we can't wait to see where you go. We're sorry we can't be with you in person to celebrate, but we are definitely there in spirit. Um, stay in touch, we are so proud of you. Congratulations. I can't believe this is how it's going to end with some cheesy video instead of a real graduation ceremony. But I think we can all be grateful that at least it didn't end with another Zoom meeting. Friends, congratulations. What should have been a wild and exuberant dash to the finish line after three years of law school, I know it's become a time of uncertainty and isolation. You deserve more. Know that you have friends, old people like me, who are rooting for you. Know that you don't have to do it alone. In this vacuum that isolation has created, we could make some amazing new connections. So reach out. And whatever you do, stay the course and don't give up on your dreams. In times like these, it's not the person who crosses the finish line first who wins. It's everyone who stays in the race. Good luck. Congratulations, members of the class of 2020. We are so incredibly proud of you. And it is my honor to get to have this moment to recognize your incredible achievements. Now more than ever, this world needs lawyers, leaders, change makers, problem solvers who are positioned to address the real, very real challenges that we're all facing. And because of the investments that you made in yourself and in your future, you're positioned to do exactly that. So I say go forth and let your light shine. Work hard in service to others and know that you are never in this alone. Your Oregon Law family is here for you forever. And I can't wait to hear your updates. Congratulations. Hello Law Ducks, this is Rebecca Flynn from the Wayne Moore Center. And y'all just did something really hard and you did it for three long years, so congratulations. I just have one piece of advice for you and that is if you ever find yourself in a dispute with family or friends or especially with a partner or spouse, don't ever say, mm, that's not really your best argument. It only goes downhill from there. Oregon Law, class of 2020, congratulations. I'm so disappointed that we can't celebrate together in our funny hats and gowns. I put on the second funniest hat I ever get to wear in order to congratulate you, tell you how much I'm proud of you, and I hope you're proud of your own achievements. Good luck, I'm cheering you on from afar. Please keep in touch. You are always part of our Oregon Law family and I can't wait to see what you accomplish next. To the class of 2020, you've worked really hard and you've persevered through one of the most difficult times that any of us can remember. So to you, I salute you and best of luck in your future careers. All the best. Congratulations, class of 2020. You've worked hard for three years and now you have finished your law school career in the face of pretty unbelievable circumstances. My wish for each of you is that your career brings you immense satisfaction and your post-law school life brings you great joy. I look forward to hearing about your future accomplishments with best wishes and many congratulations. One of my favorite parts of graduation day comes at the reception following the ceremony. I love meeting your families and friends and celebrating your successes with them. I hope you'll stay in touch come back and help our newest ducks because they think you're the experts now and we're just faculty. 
please let us know too when we can help you. We're invested in you. Until we see each other again, work hard, be kind, and edit your writing very carefully. Congratulations. Dear Oregon Class of 2020, remember when you first arrived in Oregon, the sky was blue. You would perhaps learn to protect the trees, the birds, the animals, the flowers. But as soon as you got into class, it turned out to be a bit more rocky than you thought. And the professors were leading you down one path and then suddenly pushing you in another direction. And it became, in fact, a tangle of doctrines that really confused you. And sometimes, let's face it, you may have fallen flat on your face. However, nonetheless, you did pick yourself up and you got to where you are today. After three years, you are becoming a real lawyer. And I hope you will spend that time serving justice, serving human rights, and protecting the things that we all love. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Now, of course, we are all disappointed that we can't celebrate with you in person, but in a way, it may be fitting that your class has a virtual graduation because your class always displayed a great amount of virtue. Now, hey, I realize virtual is not the adjectival form of virtue, but lame wordplay is kind of my thing, so roll with it. This class has been virtuous in many ways. This class did a huge amount of community service. This class was made up of students who always looked out for each other. This class is bound for careers uh, in which they'll be doing public service full-time or a lot of valuable work for private clients and then also some pro bono. So as we look back on the virtual graduation, we will remember that that was a special class that had unusual virtue. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Although I can't be there to personally say congratulations and to applaud you, I do want to give you my heartfelt congratulations and wish you all the best for a successful future. I've been so impressed by this particular class and I know you're going to do great things in the world. Congratulations. Class of 2020, you have truly knocked my socks off. And now I can rest easy knowing that you're out there with your passion and your creativity making this world a better place. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and congratulations. Congratulations class of 2020. When I spoke at my own law school graduation, I told my class that I didn't think the strong community that we cultivated during our time at Oregon Law would ever go away. Now that it's been 11 years since that date, I can confidently say that I was right. I wish you all the best of luck as you take the next giant step in your lives and in your careers. And I look forward to seeing many of you at alumni events soon. I want to thank Dean Burke for the opportunity to send a few warm wishes and shout outs to the graduating class of 2020 from the U of O Law School. What an amazing uh, year it has been for everyone. Um, resilience will be the mark of all of your successes and you will look back at this period of time and know that you can get through anything. A special shout out over here to the externs from the class that worked in our chambers and who really were unbelievable in their contributions, especially those this spring term who really had to learn what it was like to work remotely and to work um, quickly and um, with great alacrity to get the work done and to keep everything flowing. It was a remarkable year for all of our students and I want to remind everyone that you're graduating with a golden ticket to have a law degree and to advocate for those who are underserved who without the opportunity to get what they need. All of those resources that your parents and you have, have uh, placed in your intellectual um, quiver, you now can use to help other people. So I want you to remember that when you leave today, you have many, many opportunities. The, the sky is yours. The disruption is everywhere. You have the chance to write the rules for where the law will go in the future. So I want to close uh, quickly with a, just a um, writing from Betty Roberts, who is my mentor, and I would strongly suggest always find a mentor. They're invaluable in these moments of difficulty, and they're the best people to celebrate with in those moments of joy. And she ends her book with this uh, poem that I think really speaks volumes to your class. 
So she says, when we walk to the edge of all the light we have, and we take the step into the darkness of the unknown, we must believe one of two things will happen. There will be something solid for us to stand on, or we will be taught how to fly. I know this class was taught to fly. Have a great life. By virtue of having a law degree from the U of O on your wall, your family has suddenly grown exponentially to include the entire Oregon Law Alumni Association. And that includes us. And we are here to be those sometimes annoying, but ultimately helpful relatives. We want to help you find jobs, develop your career, answer questions, and serve as role models and mentors. Most important, hearty congratulations from Richard Meeker and Ellen Rosenblum. Go, Go Law, Law Ducks! Ducks.